it was a totally diff different world. First of all, communication technology were not there. And so every communication was much too slow. Uh, the, the world, I think, was not even uh, on time uh, informed on what was happening. Um, and uh, uh, there were, of course, uh, organizations, but uh, 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 they were not structured uh, in one way or another. And it was a little bit on the spot. Uh, and I think that we have gone, we have come really a, a long, long way since there. And I think that the creation of ECHO in the early 90s has also been very useful to get a little bit all this enthusiasm and uh, uh, commitment uh, a little bit more structured uh, and even professional. And of course, now we have uh, new technologies, we have uh, more facility in co uh, connecting with people on the field, for instance, and, and, uh, and we are living in a different world. First of all, uh, it has been a very demanding period in my life, but it's also, uh, it, it, it was not a, a job, it was not working, it was, it was so, let's say, I was so involved in some way, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, with frustration and also sometimes with good results. Things were so complicated that there was a tendency to leave everything on the shoulder of the humanitarians. Mm? And we struggled really very, very much to say, listen, this is to find a political solution is not our job. Uh, these are a crisis of political origin, needs a political solution, but that is not neither the ambition nor we have the tool to find a political solution. Our role is to save life. Of course, then on the field, you help everybody, right? You don't make differences. And of course, you, you also try to save life of a soldier that maybe is the aggressor. That, that's not the question. The question is that when it comes to a political debate, exactly because the political solution is not in our hands, it's in the political sphere, our knowledge from the field our witness, uh, I, I think it has to be put on the table. You know, I will never forget something that Aung San Suu Kyi, when I visited her as a commissioner in 96, she, and then she has been repeating that over and over, she said, please use your liberty to promote ours. And I, just to begin with, I think that we are all of us so privileged uh, and represent the institution that we really have to care about the international uh, convention, the human rights aspects, the fact that we deal with people, and the fact that, that the space of uh, freedom and liberty and dignity uh, is a value for everybody and not only for the, let's say, privileged, mm -hmm. and that we have to use our liber liberty to promote theirs.